we shall see the special cases uh, of parallelogram law let us take case 1 if two vectors are acting in same direction then what will be the resultant value we need to find if two vectors are acting in the same direction let us say there are two vectors a vector and b vector both the vectors are acting in the same direction so what is the angle between the two vectors angle between the two vectors is zero degree they are parallel vectors angle between the two vectors is zero degree what is the resultant formula so we have already derived the relation r is equal to root of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos 0 cos theta theta is the angle between the two vectors here it is zero degree cos zero is nothing but one so what will this become resultant will become root of a square plus b square plus 2ab this is in the form a square plus b square plus 2ab this can be written as a root of a plus b the whole square square and square root will cancel out and therefore i'll get resultant value as a plus b so if two vectors are acting in the same direction you need to just add them up that's it you need to just add them up and i'll call this resultant as the maximum possible resultant i'm calling the resultant as maximum possible resultant because i have substituted the maximum value of cost function that is one you know that cost function oscillates between plus and one and minus one isn't it the cost value the cost function oscillates itself between plus one and minus one so cos zero is equal to one is the maximum value of cos function and cos 180 degree is equal to minus one that is the minimum value of the cos function now since uh, i have substituted the maximum value of cos cos zero is equal to plus one i have substituted the maximum value of cos therefore resultant also will be maximum so case two if two vectors are acting in opposite direction if two vectors are acting in opposite direction so what will be the resultant if they're acting in opposite direction so if the two vectors are acting in opposite direction then what we have to do we have to first find the angle between the two vectors what is the angle between the two vectors these are anti-parallel vectors the angle between the two vectors will be equal to 180 degree and what is cos 180 degree cos 180 degree value is equal to minus one cos zero was equal to plus one i had substituted the maximum value now i'll be substituting the minimum value of cos because they're acting in opposite direction so what will be the resultant resultant will be root of a square plus b square plus 2ab plus 2ab cos of 180 degree cos 180 degrees minus one so when we substitute this what do will we get we'll get this as a root of a square plus b square minus 2ab this will, this will be in the form a minus b the whole square square and square root will cancel out and so you will get a minus b as the resultant and since i have put uh, the minimum value of cos that is minus one the resultant that i'll be getting is minimum resultant and that is equal to a minus b therefore what you need to understand here is if two vectors are acting in the opposite direction just subtract them if they are acting in the same direction just add them this is the maximum possible resultant and this is the least possible resultant case three a different case like let us say i need to find the subtraction of two vectors see what i have done is i found the addition of two vectors i found the addition magnitude i added up two vectors and i took the magnitude what was that called that was only called as resultant isn't it resultant was addition the magnitude of the addition of two vectors and that was found to be how much a square plus b square plus 2ab cos of theta this was the resultant value isn't it now i need to find the uh, subtraction magnitude what i need to find subtraction magnitude let us say i want to find a vector minus b vector ka magnitude i want to find the magnitude of a vector minus b vector so first what i will do i will i will find this a vector minus b vector i will write this as a vector plus negative of b vector see there is no separate rule for subtraction okay subtraction is extension of addition so minus of b vector you're writing it as just plus of minus b vector isn't it subtraction is extension of addition so minus you're writing it as a plus of minus b vector so if i draw a diagram here let us say this was my a vector okay and this was b vector how do you find the resultant of these two vectors how do you how did you find the uh, resultant you had completed the parallelogram 
and then diagonal represents the resultant, isn't it? The resultant is nothing but uh, a vector plus b vector. A vector plus b vector. I want to find a vector minus b vector. So what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do, I need to first write minus as plus of minus. Now first you take negative of b vector. So what is negative of a vector? Negative of a vector is nothing but a vector which is same as magnitude as the original vector, but directed opposite to the original vector. So minus b vector is just exactly opposite to plus b vector. So this is going to be minus b vector, but keep in mind that the magnitudes will be same. If the length of this is b, isn't it? If the magnitude of this is b, this is also going to be b only. It will not be minus b, isn't it? Magnitude is same, but what will reverse? Only the direction will reverse. So I first took negative of b vector. Now what I have to do with a vector and negative of b vector, you need to add them. What do you have to do? You have to add them. So how do you add? Using parallelogram law. So I have a vector with me ready. I have minus b vector ready with me. I have to add them. So what I will do, I'll draw a parallel side for minus b vector and I'll draw a parallel side for a vector. So the diagonal is going to represent the resultant. Diagonal is going to represent the resultant. And what is the angle between a vector and minus b vector? This whole thing is a straight line, isn't it? This whole thing is a straight line. So if this is theta, this is going to be 180 degree minus theta. And what is this diagonal value? This diagonal represents what? It represents a vector plus, what are you adding? A vector and negative of b vector you are adding. So what will be the value of this? So you can apply the parallelogram law again. Therefore, a vector minus b vector magnitude is what is represented by the diagonal that is only called resultant. That will be equal to square root of parallelogram law. If you apply, you are getting a square plus b square. Don't think it is minus b square. It is b only plus b only because uh, we are putting here magnitudes, isn't it? These are the magnitudes, a and b are the magnitude and negative of b vector magnitude is still b only plus 2 into magnitude of a, magnitude of b. What is going to change? Only the angle is going to change between a vector and minus b vector. What will be the angle? For a and b, it was theta. For a vector and minus b vector, it is not theta. It is 180 degree minus theta. It is how much? 180 degree minus theta. And what is cause of 180 minus theta? We know cause of 180 degree minus theta is nothing but minus of cos theta. It is how much? Minus of cos theta. So therefore, a vector minus b vector magnitude will be equal to root of root of a square plus b square. Cos 180 will become 180 minus theta will become minus cos theta. So it is minus 2ab into cos of theta. This is the subtraction magnitude. Addition magnitude was the root of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta. Isn't it? Subtraction of two vectors magnitude is given by root of a square plus b square minus 2ab cos theta. So this point and this point you need to remember.